Today, it's all about abstract and creative photography you can try at home. Hey, what's going on? Are you also staying at home getting bored? In today's video, I'm going to share a huge amount of fresh photography ideas. I'm going to dip, power, throw everything you can see around the table in the fish tank to create some new cool photography ideas. Let's do it. Oh, one addition. I just got some sparklers. Let's see how they look underwater. For today's images, I'm going to use this fish tank. If you don't own one, it's no problem. Just get sure that the glass that you're using is clear. Otherwise, you would get a lot of distortions. For the images, I used an APC camera, the Sony A6300, together with a macro lens, the 90mm. And because I'm shooting everything in manual mode, I added some tape to the fish tank to get sure that the subject is always in focus. Yeah, well, today it's getting really messy. I used three light sources, one from the top and two from the sides. The reason is because I want to use really fast shutter speeds to freeze motion and at the same time I want a large field of depth, so I have to close the aperture. Okay, enough talking about the setup for the moment, let's start with the sparklers. I'm really a big fan, you can do so much with the sparkler in photography, that's why I want to show you a few macro shots before we dipping the sparkler into the fish tank. That was nice. Now in slow motion. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, by the way, I filmed this at a magnification of 1 to 1, f8 and a shutter speed of a hundredth of a second. It's a little bit overexposed, but I don't want to use faster shutter speed, otherwise we wouldn't have this nice falling star effect. So let's do a second test and close the aperture even more. This is the professional setup I used. A straw battery, which holds the sparkler and the tripod. Yeah, that's much better. I really like this boiling lava. I wish my camera would offer more frames per second. This is filmed at 100 and I must say it's pretty satisfying. I was really curious how this would look underwater. Will it keep burning? I did some tests with firecrackers underwater. They did not stop burning. Well, this video today is actually very special and here is the reason why. Before we're going to take a look on the images I took in the fish tank, I want to introduce a great photographer friend of me, Wolfgang. Hey Jens, how are you doing? What an honor to be in your show. I even shaved myself. Okay, that's great to hear. What are your plans for the next days? Well, I'm here in the basement of our house creating a new series of videos. And the special thing about these videos is that I try to create professional looking shots with things that are available in almost any household. For example, I shot this apple and my only light source was an iPhone. Or this bottle of beer where I used an iPhone and a tablet as a light source. And in the next video, I am going to play with fire. Sounds pretty interesting. I really want to see that. Thanks Jens. See you next time. Thanks Wolfgang. If you need more inspiration for your photography at home, you should really visit his channel. His techniques are simple, but the results are awesome. Yeah, as you just saw, I used the time to clean up the fish tank a little bit. I used the toothbrush to remove all those bubbles. Work clean and save time in post-production. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that I used tape to nail the focus. I put the toothbrush into the water where the tape is and then set the focus manually. Okay, let's start with the video. Again, 100 frames per second, 1080p. I am not really sure. I mean, it looks interesting, but it somehow does not have this wow effect. Let's take some images. Therefore, I switch to burst mode and choose the highest rate possible. In Lightroom, I pulled down the blacks a little bit to separate the sparkler from the background. Hmm, what do you think? Maybe not the most spectacular image ever, but pretty interesting. For the next couple experimental images, I used a dropper. Because now we're gonna create some amazing images with fluids. Therefore, I focused manually, used an aperture of 7.1, a shutter speed of 1000 and also an ISO of 1000. Okay, let's see what we got. Although we're shooting at 1000 of a second, we get motion blur here. So actually, I would need to go even faster beyond 2000 of a second. But then I would double my ISO, which I don't want. So the best solution would be to add more lights, which is actually a problem because I don't own more lights. Well, solution here, a little bit of motion blur is okay. Then I added vinegar to the oil because I wanted to add more action to the image. 
And I also turned on the light behind the fish tank. Black background looks nice, but here I like the white background even more. And our images become a little more abstract, which I personally like. Although this might look pretty simple, I really like this kind of photography because you never know what you get. Like this one. Somehow it reminds me of an embryo. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool, interesting. Let's move on. Good, now let's add some mood to the chaos. Why? I mean, why not? I really like how the oil bubbles fighting their way back up to the top. And then I realized that there's some pretty interesting stuff going on on the surface. I switched the camera position and took some first images. Hmm, pretty interesting how the milk and the vinegar and the oil interact. Sorry, but that's just the appetizer. In a couple of days, I will upload part 2. And in that video, we're gonna take a closer look on how salt, pepper soap, dew spray, liquor eggs, strawberries and firecrackers interact with the fish tank. Here's a quick preview. And I really hope that I could inspire you getting creative with stuff from your household. There are several interesting things which can look pretty amazing underwater. Just start experimenting and see what you can get. Oh, and by the way, this is already the fourth video of this series. If you need more inspiration, maybe you want to take a closer look on the videos on my YouTube channel. That's it for today. I hope you're all doing well and hopefully see you next week.